Today I'm going to show you how to work out the missing probability in a probability table. So to do this all you need to do is add up the probabilities in the table and once you've added them up you need to subtract that answer away from 1. This is because probabilities add up to 1. So let's do the first example then. So we've got to work out the probability of scoring a 3. So we've got a little table here and it could be like a spinner where you can score numbers 1, 2 and 3. So the probability of scoring a 1 is 0 0.2, the probability of scoring a 2 is 0 0.18 and we need to find the probability of scoring a 3. So the first step is to add up the probabilities that we have in the table. So we're given the 0 0.2 and the 0 0.18. So let's add these up. So you can fill in a 0 here to make things easier. So 0 add 8 is 8, 2 add 1 is 3, and we get 0 0.38. So once we've done that, since properties in the table should all add up to 1, we can take this answer away from 1. Again, I'm going to write, write down 1 as 1.00, because this will make things easier. So mine is 0 0.38. So 0 take away 8 can't do, so I'm going to borrow 1 off the 1. So 10 take away 8 is 2, 9 take away 3 is 6, and 0 take 0 is 0. So the probability of scoring a 3 on this spinner would be 0 0.62. So let's move on to example 2. So again we've got another probability table, so again it could be relating to a spinner. This time we've got four numbers and we've given the probability of scoring a 1 and the probability of scoring a 4. But we need to work out the probability of scoring a 2 and a 3. Now in the question we're told that the probability of scoring a 2 and a 3 are equally likely. This means that the probability of scoring a 2 and a 3 is the same. Alright, so these two numbers here are equal to each other. So let's do what we did before then. Add the probabilities that were given in the table. So let's add on, add up 0 0.16 and 0 0.3. So if you add these up, we get 0 0.46. So like example 1, just subtract the answer away from 1 now. So let's work this out on the page. So you could always do this on your calculator if you're struggling with the taking away. So 0 take 6 I can't do, so borrow 1 off the 1. So 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 4 is 5, 0 take 0 is 0. So we get the probability of 0 0.54. Right now, this won't be our final answer. All right, because if we put them both as 0 0.54, it will give us a total more than 1. So we've got one extra thing to do now, and that is to half this answer. So if we do 0 0.54 divided by 2, that will give us 0 0.27. So the probability of scoring a 2 and a 3 are both 0 0.27.